Othello, a black general, is chosen to command the battle against the Turkish. He chose Cassio to be his second commander, and Iago, one of his soldiers, decides to take revenge over him for not being the chosen one. Knowing that Rodrigo was in love with Estemona, Othello's girlfriend, he decides to use him to complete his revenge. family with him? Are your doors locked? Why are you asking this? Sir, you are robbed. Your house is burst. You have lost half your soul. Arise, I say. What? Have you lost your mind? Who are you? My name is Rodrigo. My daughter is not for you. What are you need of Robbie? This is Venice. My house is not a ranch. Your daughter and the moor are now making the beast with two bucks. Huh. You're a bee line. If she's in her chamber or your house, let's lose on me the justice of the state for this deluding. Give me a candle. Call up on my people. This accident is not unlike my dream. Light. I say light. I do hate to tell you, as I do health pains, yet, for necessity of present life, I must show out a flood and sign of love. Brabantio accuses Othello for having seduced his daughter by spellings and tricks. This one as response of that challenges him to speak with the Duke. such a terrible thing. Here's the man, this moor, who now seems to be your special general for the state affairs. We are very sorry for it. What do you have to say about it? Nothing! He's guilty for this. My very noble man, that I have taken away this old man daughter. It is most true. What drugs? What consideration? And what mighty magic for such proceeding I am charged with her. I won his daughter. A maiden, never bold, 
of a pin so still that her sires blush at herself and she in spite of nature, of years, of reputation, everything. To fall in love with what? She feared to look on? But I tell you, speak. Did you buy a direct and false courses to the young boys of this young girl? Send from the lady and let her speak of me before the father. If you find me fall in her record, not only take away, but let your sentence even fall out of my life. Ancient, I pray you hear her speak. My noble father. To you I am bound for life and education. How to respect you? You are lord of my duty. But here is my husband, and so much duty as my mother showed to you, preferring you before her father. So much I challenge that I may profess due to the moon, my lord. Goodbye, I have done. Please, with your grace, would you stay the first? I have run into a lot of child, I know it. My lord, Yalo, I must speak with you. You, you know, I love you. For such a thing, I have to tell you, I. Suspect. I hear you, my lord. Beware of chips. <laughs> it's not to my misgivings. To say my wife is fair, visible, and loves company. I'm glad of this. For now, I will have reason to show the love and not the dad. I bear you. My lord, look to your wife. Observe her will with Cassio. Look them. She is about her father, marrying you. I hope you consider what I say. Uh, I will not. I see you are moved. No. Okay. No. No. Not much more. I think the ceremony is honest. So, I love him to you see so. Farewell, farewell. If more you see, let me know. Hello? Take me. When did I marry him? This man sees and no more. Much more than he says. I have a thing for me. It's a common thing. 
What will you give me now for that some handkerchief? What handkerchief? What handkerchief? The one that the moon first gave to the Zemona that we so often you asked me to steal. Have you stolen it? No, fate. She let it drop and I took it up. What will we do with it? A good thing. Give it to me. I have something to do with it. Give me a local proof. Prove it. Or that. That will be your life. Face. What horrible fantasy is this? Why? Who are you? I'm your wife, my lord. I'm your true and loyal wife. Come, swear it. Oh, heaven does know it. Heaven truly knows that you are false as hell. To whom, my lord? With whom? How am I false? Ah, the Zemona! Away! Away! No. no! Why do you weep, my lord? Am I the motive of these tears? Insolent! Prostitute! Are you not a whore? I am not! Oh, heaven forgive us! Forgive us! I cry your mercy then. I took you for that kind of whore of Venice that married with Otello. with Cassie lately and been troubled on a tooth I could not sleep. There are a kind of men that in their sleeps tell what they do. Cassio is one of these. In his lips I heard him say, sweet as demona, let high in our road. Oh, oh. Monstrous. Monstrous. Horrible! A bastard! This was but his dream. She may be honest yet. Tell me about this. Have you not sometimes seen a handkerchief spot with strawberries in your wife's hand? I gave such a one! It was my first gift! I don't know that, but such a handkerchief. I'm sure it was your wife. 
I saw today Cassio clean his bear with it. Oh, that the slayer have 40,000 lives! What is a fool? Too weak for my revenge! Now! I see it's true! Oh, blood! Blood, blood! Patience, my love. Your main perhaps may change. No, oh, never, Yago! Never, Yago, never! No, oh, never, Yago! Never, Yago! Never! Never, Yago! No, never! Never, Yago! Othello calls Iago to ask for his pardon for what he did in the beach. This, after stolen the handkerchief, approached the situation to give it to him and make Cassio guilty. Tonight, Azemona? Yes, my lord. What do you mean? Shazuit. I could not kill your unprepared spirit. Talk you of killing? Yes, I do. Oh, then, heaven have mercy on me. Amen. With all my heart. I hope you will not kill me. Peace and be still. Tell me, what's the matter? The handkerchief which I gave you. You gave it to Cassio. I saw it. No, no. Oh, I never gave it to him. Please let me confess. He has confessed that he has used you. <laughs> what? He will not say so. 
No, no, he's more for this top. What? Is he dead? Do you care for him to my face? Oh, punish me, but do not kill me now. Let me leave tonight. No. Let me tomorrow. No, no. Just half an hour. Just no. half an hour. It is too late. Who is there? My lord. Oh good, my lord. I will speak a word with you. What is the matter with you now? She was a whore. She was false as hell. She was not. She was heavenly. True. My husband knew it all. She was false with Cassio. My husband? Did he say that? What is the matter? You told a lie! She fought with Cassio! With Cassio, mistress. Go away and be silent. I will not be silent. I will speak. What? Are you mad? I say it! Go home! I will never go home! Lay you down and rule. You have killed the sweetest innocent. That handkerchief you spoke of, I found a fortune and I give it to my husband. He begged me to steal it. <laughs> she loved you, Grandmore! Don't know what this feet. But this is a favor. If that you are devil, I cannot kill you. Take this word from him. This mystery has not confessed his villainy. Did you and he consent in Cassius' death? Yes. Dear General, I never gave you cause. Happy, I'm alive. Believe it and ask your pardon. How came you, Cassio, by that the handkerchief? That was my wife. I found it on my room. 